The whispers of Hamilton joining Scuderia at this time seem more convincing. Ferrari has recently agreed to contract extension with Charles Leclerc for several more seasons. And it would appear that Hamilton has a paperwork in place to remain with Mercedes for 2024 and 2025 seasons following his latest extension. But what was initially thought to be a two-year deal could be more of a one plus one arrangement with exit clauses at the end of the first term. In this case, the end of the coming season. While Hamilton has driven for the Silver Arrow since 2013, and the two parties have won six drivers and eight constructors titles together, the rules over all of 2022 caused the team to stumble. In a bid to recapture its former glory and chase after Red Bull, technical officer James Allison has returned to a hands-on role, once again taking up the position of technical director. He has also signed a new contract in recent weeks. But given that Mercedes adapted poorly to the new rules with size zero side pod architecture back in 2023. The W15 Challenger that will break cover this month marks a major design reset. If the new direction does not bring up a competitive boost, it reduces the risk for Hamilton should he want to break away. Hamilton knows that he hasn't won a single race since 2021 Saudi Arabia and has clear intentions to win a drivers championship. But why exactly Ferrari? Why not a Red Bull or any other team? With speculations about Perez's contract ending in 2024, Red Bull could be an option too. The fact is Hamilton and quite honestly everyone else knows that Mercedes is not a championship winning team anymore. The main reason for choosing Ferrari is undoubtedly Frederick Vasseur. Hamilton worked with Frederick in the past during his F3 days. Ferrari is also one of the fastest cars on the grid and is undoubtedly faster than Mercedes. With Charles Leclerc qualifying in pole position multiple times only proves that Ferrari has a competitive car and is a safer bet for Hamilton than any other team. So who will replace Hamilton and be George Russell's teammate? The easiest answer could be Carlos Sainz, but Mercedes has made a lot of expensive gambles in the past, and simply implying a seat of swap could not be an answer. Of course, I believe Valtteri Bottas could be a great fit for the team, but Alex Albon could also be a serious contender given his strong pace in the last season. Mick Schumacher and Fernando Alonso seem like a less possible chance, as the former is known for wrecking cars, and the latter is almost in the end of his career. With Hamilton not having celebrated his 39th birthday, time is running out. Should he want to fulfill an F1 driver dream by moving to Ferrari, even if the talent squad is not necessarily any better to deliver him a record-setting eighth crown. And pulling off and signing would mark a major coup for him and Ferrari, and to boost its appeal, which would in turn assist the team boss Frederick Vasseur and his ongoing recruitment driver to bolster the depleted technical department. Incumbent driver Carlos Sainz's contract situation could also fit with Hamilton switching to Ferrari. The Spaniard's deal ran out to the end of the season, and to be clear that he wants his future to be decided before the start of a new campaign. Sainz, having stacked up well against Leclerc in the last three seasons as teammates, was seen to be in a good place to negotiate high salary and a preferred two-year deal. The driver wanting much of these improved terms were believed to be behind in delays, and a contract agreement was announced. But the alternative is that Ferrari already has its sights set on another sensational option. Ferrari has long been interested in Hamilton services, but its offers have previously been rejected because the seven-time world champion felt Mercedes offered him a better route to success. However, it now appears that over the back of the two challenging seasons for Mercedes, Ferrari is now closer to convincing Hamilton that it's a better path for success. Last year, Hamilton signed a multi-year contract with Mercedes for 2024 and 2025, but it now appears that the second season may only have been an option. That means Hamilton will now have an escape clause, which could indicate if he signs for Ferrari, he will be able to join from 2025. Both Ferrari and Mercedes have declined to comment on the situation. Should Hamilton's move be confirmed, it could be a huge blow to Mercedes, which went through lengthy contract negotiations with him last year to secure the seat. Speaking just after the deal was done, Hamilton was at pains to suggest that he had a disbelief that Mercedes has learned the lessons from its challenging 2022 or 2023 seasons and could enjoy a chance to return to home glory with all its new car campaign. Early indications from Mercedes internal have pointed to the new W15 being a good step forward for the squad, while the German manufacturer recently made it clear that the team boss Toto Wolff and technical director James Allison had extended their contract for the long term.